Welcome back to another edition of Bagel and Booze. As you can see, we are up. She's back, yes. Still up out of the basement, kind of enjoying the kitchen. A little brighter, a little more space, as you can see. And I've got Amanda back. So she's back for another edition to help us out. And as you can kind of guess, we've got a theme here today. We've got limes. We're going to be doing a lime off. So, it's a limey. Sorry. <laughs> so, there's a lot of beer, and we also have shipwreck, shipwreck lime rum. So, you know, to do all this in one sitting, why I would really love to do it, it just would not end well. So, what we're going to end up doing out of this is we're probably going to do. How many do we have? We got, uh, I can't count. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten, seven, ten eight. Ten rum. So we got ten. Ten so, beers and a rum. Twelve. Well, the rum. Nine beers, a cider, and a rum. Well, ten drinks plus a plus liquor. That's in its own class. <clears throat> but that's just going to be great. Shipwreck is ugly. Could be ugly. We don't know. Shipwreck is ugly. So what I think we should do is we'll take five for okay. tonight. We'll figure out how to... Do it or whatever. Can we get the ones I think are gonna be the reverse. Oh, uh, you want like potential garbage ones coming out? So anyway, I don't want to have to look look forward to. It. <laughs> you don't want to look forward to drinking Bud Light Lime or uh, Michelob Ultra Infusions Lime and Prickly Pear Cactus. Oh, that's I didn't know there was all those other things in there. That sounds better than that. Okay, well, whatever. Anyway. anyway, so we've got ten. We'll do five of these things. Whichever one we think is the best, the limiest. The we'll, tastiest. The limiest. And look, we even have pistachios for our green theme. So Wait, we'll, what is what does that have to do with lime? I put those over here so we can like, they're green. What cleanse yeah. our palates or something. Whatever. Anyway. They're green. Unlike the pretzels. So we'll take the top beer, drink, whatever could be the cider. Could, might if we take that this time yeah and then we'll bring that back and we'll do the other five and then we'll do at the end of that we'll have a head to head so and we'll figure out which is the best out of part one and out of part two so we pared it down we selected our five we're going to do tonight we've got the bottle of key lime liquor because Why not? it's bagel and booze we're going to finish off with some key lime rum. Key lime rum. We got to taste it. We got to see what it's like. So so what we decided, we kind of took out, what did we take out? We took oh, out. We took out all the pretty much ones that are straight lime, lime or lime and salt. These have like other things. Your like, basic lime, you know, like these are your basic lime girl, like for fall, you know, like basic white girl with pumpkin spice. Done. So these are both. Can we mansplain it? <laughs> Sorry. Strawberry lime. This one's a oh God, cider it is. with a uh, oh. oh. Can I you can't even pronounce, pronounce it? No. Let's see if I can pronounce Three it. Recorderling. R e k o r d e r l i g. Recorder leg. Let's see. Let me see. That's a strawberry lime cider. You got that. So, it's not a beer, cider, still drink, still booze. It's in there. This is flying fish, salt, and sea. What? And it says, memories are made by the sea, and this session sour is inspired by evening walks on the boardwalk with the enticing aroma of strawberries and lime. Ooh, it's supposed to be all magical. That almost sounded like one of your readings of... Uh, adult romance yes. novels? Should I have read it? All yeah. passionate and we should do a Bridgerton inspired episode and you can do a reading. I don't think there's any beer inspired by Bridgerton. We're going to drink Claret or whatever they drank back in the sure. day. The, that red sure. that red crap. Some so uh the next thing we got here what well, we I got here one. is a failure to communicate. Not really. But we got Kona Brewing Company. This is their my 
time light. Uh, what is this? Liquid, my time light. Liquid aloha. Liquid aloha, yes. You don't spend so much time with it, you don't know if you're coming or going. Yes. So it's pineapple, orange, and lime. Inspired by delicious. the Mai Tai cocktail. So just kind of see we got the fruity guys kind of going on. Next up, which you didn't even know existed. You might have a summer beer off of this one. Michelob Ultra Infusions. Why lime, are you saying things like that? I don't know. Okay. Lime and prickly pear cactus. Light lager with real fruit and natural flavors. I don't know how that so is. Wait. Let me see something. Yep. 4%, 95 calories. I don't care about calories. You may not care about calories, but somebody might. This is also 4%, 95 calories. So those are like the same thing? Yep. Flying fish doesn't tell you how many calories. You know what the thing that always messes people up when when I go to serve beer? Mm -hmm. People will see like these two style things and they'll Mm -hmm. go, I want that. That's more beer in there. No, it's not. Like it's the same thing. 12 and 12. There's more beer. It's taller. This has more sugar. It's 110 calories. And 4.5% alcohol. And then this last guy here. I think I might have screwed up. It's green. I <laughs> figured it's like lime. It is a hazy, juicy IPA. It's everything but the kitchen sink from Two Roads Brewing. Uh, it's so. A can. Looks like one of your Hawaiian shirts. We're going to count it. I know it's probably not really lime, but you know it's got all the kind of fruitiness to it and we stuff can like that. So ex- exit on a technicality after we drink this. If it's like the top, then maybe it gets disqualified. You know, it's you know, all right, a legal qualification. Up. So now we got to figure out. Oh wait, we didn't look at this one to see what percentage. I don't think it says a percentage. There's a lot oh, of stuff on the back. Seven percent, seven point two percent. That's single digit. That's easy. But it's bigger. It's it's yeah. all about size. <laughs> What's the matter with you? There's lots of matter with me. It's not an event. The so. Last time we did this, I had beverages before we got here. Yeah, well, you're coming in clean on this one. I am. You, you won't be so clean. Drink. I've had like one drink. Whatever. You know, nice we're not old. going anywhere. Ah, that's true. So, after doing these, we're definitely not going anywhere. So. I drink and I know things. Okay, so we decided we're just going to go side to side because we really want to finish with the liquor. I'm so you're going to snip it? Pouring. Okay. That's a good, satisfying pop sound. Anyway, so yeah. first up on the thing, the fake lime, which I thought was lime, but not really lime. We don't know if it is or not. Hazy Juicy IPA. Somebody can probably fill us in if it is, but it's a green can, so we're counting it. So, so I'm not a fan of the Ippas. I know you're not. I'm not a huge fan of the Ippas, but Sean got me on to these guys. That's good. That's good. They're not super hoppy. They're fruity-ish. Like Some of them are like grapefruit. So we'll leave the it does smell like can there. Fruit. Well, that's the, that's the juicy. That's the juicy part of the IPA. Grapefruit and pineapple. I don't okay. know if you're going to like them, because you don't like pineapple. Yeah, sometimes, but eh, it's a good, it's hazy, it's cloudy, you know, it's what you get in the juicy IPAs. Like it's been today. Yeah, kind of crappy. So, we'll try this up. But that's sour. That's, that's not a, bad. That's a no for me, dog. That's definitely uh. <laughs> It's good. It's it's got some. Got, you're not washing out with liquor. <laughs> like, put some in there. Holy crap! You're gonna be done before I'm we a, even start. I'm a strong claw this beer. I don't think you could strong claw a beer. There's no white claw. I didn't put. Okay. Just flesh. You just taking the edge off of your juicy I'm gonna, IPA. I'm gonna make it lime because mm. I don't think there's lime in it. No, this definitely. <laughs> I screwed up. Surprise, surprise. You know, I screwed up. I don't know. What are you doing? You know, what do we got? Uh, six limes? You got to, like, rate them, I guess. Oh, how many? No lime. You're doing no lime on that. Well, I guess we have to say no limes on that, so. 
So let's see. That's the, the everything but the kitchen sink is obviously everything but the kitchen sink and lime. So oh, I screwed okay. up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's okay. It smelled better than it tasted. <laughs> I so, liked the way it smelled. Gotcha. I would take that as a candle. So you want everything but the kitchen sink candle. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. Ju ha juicy, hazy IPA candles. That's a thing. Moving on. Moving on. So, so one that I thought I wasn't going to like that I'm excited for. Next. The Michelob uh, the Ultra. Pr the prickly pear. Prickly pear cactus. So this we got, like we said, infused with real exotic fruit. I guess that's the prickly pear cactus portion of that. So I'm going to crack this guy open. So Is it a good crack? Not bad. Kind of satisfying. I don't want to want to crack. I just want crack to know attack. if this wants to live in my, my live in your what? My brewy brew koozie thing. Oh, I thought you were about to say my like, can koozie. Thought you're about to say like uterus or something. What? Uh, That's an awful thing to say. <laughs> well, too bad it's recorded. Oh my god, I gotta go. Where are you going? You're at home. I'm just gonna take these beers and go upstairs. <laughs> Drink in the I bedroom. I can't believe that you said that. It's not that big. Like, anybody watches this stuff. Watch this be the episode everybody watches. <laughs> All our friends watch this stuff. Yes. Anyway. Mm, you can go more. You want more on this one? You, yeah. tr you trust the Michelob? You don't trust the uh, Juicy? It's nope. the fruity stuff. We'll, we'll split it. All right. Boom, 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 boom. So, that's a nice empty can. Nice and clear as we expect what off the Michelob. Smells. See what it smells, smells like. Good. That I do get... Don't get grapefruit like we did before. We got, I got a lime smell. I could drink this. I could be like on the beach. I get a, I don't get a lot of lime on that. I get more, I guess, the the pear, pear, pear cactus, pear, prickly pear Maybe. cactus. Not that I know what prickly pear cactus tastes like, but I know what pears taste like. So. But it doesn't taste like pears. Pear-ish. It's only called prickly pear because it's shaped like a pear. Have you ever seen a prickly pear? Nope. They're pink. Nope. Anyway. <laughs> so, this is... I'm just going to drink my beer. This one's not too bad. This one's, you know... Like, I could sit around and, like, eat some steamed shrimp. I'd sit next to you while you pick crabs, and I would drink this. It's refreshing. Yeah, it's not too bad. Again, I'm not a Michelob kind of guy. But, you know, if somebody served this... I don't know this, what that means because I don't know if I've ever had a Michelob Ultra. I've had Michelob Ultra. And... Because you drink it out of somebody's random cooler at the pool? Yes. Okay. Anyway. Moving on. It's okay. I take it, leave it. You know, if it was there and... You know. I like it better than the other one. Well, there and the other one didn't even have lime. You know, dropping your nuts. It's just a shell. Okay, so what are we going to give that? How many how many limes are you going to give that? I'm going to go out of six. Out of six limes. <laughs> we got to, just like everything else Americans do. <laughs> it's random. It's not the metric system where it's based on tens. We're it's just making it on, on limes. How many limes we have. Exactly. Um... We're not, see, this one's not even in the lime category here. So I'm going to go three because it's dead middle average so far. I could reevaluate. It's like a two and a half, three. We'll round up. We'll add it up. So that's a six. Like three plus three is six. Six dollars so, twelve. You know, this would probably be a zero one. You know, I'll give it like a one or two. So. Yeah, but you would drink it again. So. Yeah, but it's not my favorite. So. All right. Okay, so we're at two, we're at six for that. So we'll be back. Next up, as we're just moving right on down the line, we've got Kona Brewing. Again, this is the My Time Light Liquid. My yes, My Time. Yes. That's one I'm kind of excited for, too. I that was, this. That was not as satisfying as a crack as the other one. Okay. Jewelry might be out on this one. Ooh. This one's got a lot better. Smell. No smell than the other one. This, I, like I said, I, I got want more a candle pear. Of this. Well, this is again. It's the pineapple. The pineapple orange. is what pi pineapple. Orange. The orange is what I smell. I don't smell the lime in there. 
We yep. just need guava, and then it will be pog. Oh, God, pog beer. Anyway, pog beer. so let's try oh, this. Oh, like the Outer Banks show, pog. Pogs, yes, pogs. Anyway, drink it up. It's like sweet and then bitter, and there's fruit in there. I don't know what to think. Also, it's not as cold as I think it's going to be. I'm sorry. It's not bad. It's, it's good. I keep going back I got to more, it. I got more. I'm getting more orange off of that. Eh, eh. Okay, there. I got a little bit of the, uh, I guess the bitterness is probably from the grapefruit piece of that. There's no grapefruit. There's orange, pineapple, and wine. Sorry. I can't read. I mixed up my fruits. I'm still back on this guy that has the grapefruit. So, pineapple, orange, and lime. So, pineapple is not bitter. Um, no. It might be the lime. This is, this is pretty darn good. The, and this also would match your whole orange juice. This is, this is, this is, you know what? This might be your new summer beer. This could be a good summer beer. It might take a step up from Nettie Bow and Narragansett. I'm not 100% sure what to think. What do you mean? Like, bad? Well, like, <clears throat> this was really refreshing. This just okay. has more of that, that beer thing to it that gets me. Well, make a little ball, it's supposed to be like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's it. organic. Um, this is not overpowering. It's pretty crisp. It's pretty clean. I'll give this four and a half, four and a half. We'll give it five. I'll give it five. I'm giving it five limes. Okay. I'm writing that down. I'm not Because sure. we got to remember at the end because we're never going to remember this crap if we just try to guess at what we guess. What are you giving I guess it? I'm going to go three again. Because I did finish it and I kept so that's going what? back to get the front taste. But that like. See, I don't get the bitterness. I don't know if it's bitter or if it's sour, but it's something I wasn't wanting. 100% crazy about. Okay. Because you know I don't really drink beer. I love so. me some beer. Stop trying to tell me what I'm tasting. Because you don't taste it. I mean, mansplain something to you. You're going to mansplain across my head? <laughs> something. Okay, so what's that give Wait us Wait a minute, the... you just said it again. What did I say? But that word that you're not supposed to say that I just asked you not to say again. Oh, I don't remember what I was supposed to say and not to say. So you'll hit me again because I'll forget what I was not supposed to say and I said it, but you still said it. So what do we got next? The boardwalk beer. The boardwalk beer? Yes. I'm not going to say that word. I will go Jersey on it. This kind of is like Jersey. Yeah. You go boardwalk. You go jam you go the wildwood on you. <laughs> Better than sea owl. Oh no, Sea is where you go when you're old enough to drink and you get fun. Yeah. Sea is more fun. It's not like Kate May. Kate May's classy. <laughs> Unlike us. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, saying, you're saying we're Sea people? Well, I said Sea is more fun. I didn't say Sea wasn't classy. What about, you're going to upset some people about no. uh, Long, Long Beach? Well, we used to go there too. Yeah. Big red cone, or big orange cone. Big <laughs> red cone. <laughs> Messed up my colors. Anyway, so enough about the beach. Let's We're going to the boardwalk. Let's go. We're at the boardwalk. Salt and sea. Flying fish. Strawberry lime. Strawberry and lime. Um, I'm not rereading this thing. So, saying it's supposed to be like salt water taffy. I call BS on that. It just says it evokes hints of salt water taffy. What are you smelling? Ah, uh, I'm not gonna tell. I'm going to let you figure it out on your own. You think I'm going to like it because you smelled it? Oh, I smelled uh, the strawberry. Uh, holy shit. Oh, uh, you cussed again. Uh, you told I'm, me when we did the sodas that it was okay to cuss. Yeah, I'm not sure how much you're supposed to cuss, but you know, kids aren't watching this. If your kids are watching this, God help you. I was figuring like the Speaking taffy. Speaking of kids, I can hear kids outside. Whatever, they're outside. Our windows Co are open. College people. I'm in a college town. I smell the strawberry. I guess when I first smelled it, I guess I could get the salt water taffy. You're making a face. I'm not sure what to think. Holy crap. Ooh. Ooh. 
Ooh, that made me pucker. I want to like it more than that, but I don't. It's, uh... This might get bumped up. It's... I wouldn't drink this again. Not, not sour. Sour's not the right word for it. But it definitely made me pucker. It's the salty. It, as you kind of... If you didn't tell about it's my the face. It's the saltiness, like the dogfish head one. That's one we have had before. Yeah, but I don't pucker up off of that. I don't know. It's... Because this is just straight up strawberry. Strawberry lime. Maybe it's, it's a the Sessions lime. Hour. That's why you're pucking. Uh, Durr. <laughs> but... Uh, not bad. It's not my jam. It's a little... Uh, 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 I get it like in the... It's going to be weird, but... At the bottom, like under where your tongue is. Like it hits me down there at the bottom of my mouth. Uh, my, my mouth. You're letting this hang out and go under your tongue? No, it just falls under there when you drink. It all goes into your mouth, and that's where it hits me. Like, in the front of my mouth, underneath my tongue. So I'm reevaluating. You're reevaluating the Kona? Kona gets another point. In my mind. Like, delayed action, you know, from the back section? Well... Okay, that's fine. Oh, can... my necklace fell off. Oh, that's fine. No, it's fine. Anyway. Um, see, I gave that guy, what, a five? Last time, mm -hmm. it was a little sour. Um, More or less than the Mickelson. Which one of those two would you rather drink again? It's a three. Cause I got so the flying this fish is, is a, a three. three. That's a three. So it gets a five. The Michelob beat it. Oh, because you gave it to oh, Michelob beat. Because you gave it a three, and I because it's a, it's a it's a little more <clears throat> it's level. more it's more drinkable to me. Uh, yeah, I'll give you that. If I'm sitting poolside, hanging out, hanging out, I could drink more of these than I could drink of those. This is just kind of it's too sour. It's to too me. sour. Like again, not gonna not drink it, not 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 gonna drink it. Mm -hmm. But at the same on. point, so we'll be right back for one more, which is not a beer, but it's a cider, but it still counts. Cider. Down to the last but not the least, we got our cider from Schweden. We got some ice cubes in here because well, it read read what it says the best where does it way tell to me? serve it. Where is it? Right there. Oh, perfect serve ice cubes, three mint leaves, squeeze of lime. It's already got freaking lime in it. Garnish with a wedge, so I got to squeeze it and then put my wedge on there, and it's a beautifully Swedish Refresh. refreshment. Who the hell knew? Let's go. It's gluten free and vegan friendly. That's a decent crack off of the thing. That was a good crack. I'm not gonna snip it yet. Right. So, oh look at that! It's pink. It's it's pink. pink. Wow! Did not expect rose that. all day. It's not rose. It is rose. Rose means pink. Rose. <gasps> Does rose mean pink? Rose in French. Pink. Rose. Oh yeah, how about that. So. Look at that. It, God, that crap it smells so that good. That crap is pink. It smells like wild strawberries. Yeah, but see, so here's the thing. Oh, where's my where's my can? So this one was Ooh. this was set, strawberry and lime. So these are both strawberry and lime, but again, you know, this is mm -hmm. session sour, that's this a is the cider. one I'm gonna finish. Well, hang on, I may not. You're fine. You'll drink out of my glass if you want to. It tastes like jam. Holy crap. Wow. Holy shnikey. This gets a six for me. Yeah. Uh, you know, I drink my ciders. You know, I won't admit, I won't be, you know, I'll be rocking the pink. You liking this one, Jim? I'll be rocking the pink, you know. I'm proud to put my pink out. But it also has like the lime tart thing, like where it makes your mouth. It does. Warm. But it's kind of it's got a little little, you know, little kick. Um I like it. I like it. Where's it go for you? It's a six. I said it was a six. Oh. Six cease. Well, you didn't say it out loud. You didn't specify it's a 
Yeah, but because no, that's I was, a true beer. And this is a cider, I so I didn't know how you were gonna ding things. Should I ding a point because it's not I'm really not beer? Say, I'm asking you what you think. Again, it's two different brew styles: cider versus a sour session. We have to session. go get another one of these. Oh crap! We do because we're gonna have to face it off against the straight up limes. In any event, you know, I think I said that already, but I'm pretty sure you did. That's damn good. Um, I know. Again, like I said, it's cider. It still qualifies. It's it's got the the fizziness of you know like a beer. It's super fizzy. I like it. Yeah. I think it. I don't think I'm gonna get all you know fancy busting out mint leaves and sprinkling in lime and garnishing it. You know. These could be dangerous. So I guess we got our order that we won. So while good doesn't qualify because it's not lime. And last place out of this section of the lime off is flying fish with a what did that get? Uh overall two? No, it got five. It did? I gave it two, you gave it three, five total. Okay. Next up was the Michelob Ultra Infusion, and that got six. what? I got a six. Three and three. And then Kona Brewing My Time Liquid. I got a nine. Or light, liquid, light. That Four got a nine. And, five. and then our Swedish Cider got a perfect 12. Oop. What are you doing? Yeah. I don't know. 12. Oh, wait, I shouldn't do it back. Yes, because you'll upset the English because you're giving them the finger. So. I never do that. I know. So we'll be right back. We got one last thing. We got to bust open the uh, the big guy. Last but not least, we have shipwreck to get you ship based. Um, you it's know what? Saint Kitts. You know you might have to try. What? I know you suggested this earlier, but you have to get all the different flavors of shipwreck, mix them all together, and you can call it. Shit faced. You have a shit faced shot. Ship faced. I did not say the other word. S H I P. That sounds like one of your concoctions, like the swamp juice you made during COVID. Yeah. During lockdown, when yep. you just mix blue things. curacao rum, uh, like orange juice. And, and it was like the color of my green in my head. It was pretty messed up. We're gonna try it here. We're gonna do it straight up in our. It's you know, a cork. Just pull it out. My, my chief's shot glasses. I don't need a whole shot. No, we're not going to do a whole shot. No. And then we'll mix it up for a little bit of rum and coke. A whole shot. Where'd you put the cork back in? I don't know. Why do I do anything? Because I'm not the, no I'm one not, can tell you what to do either. I'm not the brightest man. Anyway, I do some dumb stuff. You're not the sharpest tool in the show. No, I got to move this thing because it's like... Right there in my face. Are you looking kind of dumb with your finger and your thumb in the shape of an L on your forehead? I'm a loser baby, so why don't you kill me? Anyway, so. <laughs> That's bottoms the wrong up. Song. I know it is. <laughs> so, drink your dang, dang shipwreck. So. You said damn again. I said dang. Whatever. You just said damn. I don't know if I could do all Do it. One, two, three. You don't have to do the whole thing. Do what you can. Pour it in the glass when you're done. Woo! It's sweet. That, uh... Tastes like limey. And rum. Big old clear rum. I got... Woo! Yeah. It definitely is, uh... It definitely puckers you up with the, uh... All right. Let's with the lime. Something. So this is just straight up rum and coke with key lime. See how that goes. Dang, that's tasty. Makes me think of Key West. That where is not we, bad. Where did we go? What was that drink called? The guy literally, like, I ordered the drink, and he literally brought over that a shot mighty. glass with a with some lime slices. I do remember A bottle that. of Mexican Coke and a glass with ice and the rum in it. But yeah, this is um an easy key to leave with. That's darn good. Maybe put a little bit of mint in there. Why mint? Oh no. Because it was on the cider can? Yes. Weird. I don't know, like some 
jacked up, you know, uh, mojito. Mm -mm. Slice this up and put that in there. Okay. If you need a garnish. I can do that. This you know also gets a 6 out of 10. I wonder how that... 6 out of 12. Tw no, six limes. Six, six out of six. Six out of six from each of us for 12. <laughs> a perfect 12. I'm going to finish this off. Yeah. I'm going to eat some pistachios to counteract the caffeine. And so, we thank you for tuning in for uh, Bagel and Booze on the Lime Off Part 1. We'll be back for Part 2. Oh, do. I guess I got to no, do it that no way. No more tonight. No more tonight. We're not doing another of that. We'll be back another week. We'll do that, and then we'll Mix up that Swedish cider against the winner of the uh, straight up plain lime and salt type bad boys. I thank you guys for tuning in. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Amanda, for joining us again. And with that, this is done. I'm done. Wait. We're done. Wait. And How did you drink that so fast? Because I'm good like that. Okay, finish out. This is done. I'm done. We're done. Peace out, and we'll catch you later.